Welcome back to Waters Ironworks. We are doing another book review today. We will be talking about one of the best beginning blacksmith books out there, The Skills of a Blacksmith, Volume 1, Mastering the Fundamentals of Blacksmithing by Mark Asprey. Anytime you go out and you talk to blacksmiths and you say, I want to get into blacksmithing, I want to know more, I want to build up my library, this book and its two companions are some of the top books that you always see recommended. And I agree with that recommendation. Um, this is probably the best book for a beginning blacksmith that is on the market um, in the level of clarity it has and the, the caliber of the, the content within it uh, is absolutely masterclass. The only downside to this book is um, it's a little more expensive, right? This book is probably going to run you in the $60 range as opposed to some of the other beginning blacksmith books that are out there, um, such as Lorelei Sims, Backyard Blacksmith, which we've looked at in a previous review, also an excellent book. This is gonna cost you about 10 bucks. This is gonna cost you about 60 bucks. What you get though are two very different books. This book is really uh, kind of a textbook. It has extremely clear instructions. I'm gonna flip this over and we'll pull up a, a close-up shot of the creation of a square taper. As you can see looking at this, Mark has done just an absolutely great job of providing extremely clear photography with additional information showing um, exactly what the right way to do things looks like and what the wrong way to do things look like. Um, the photography the level of clarity of the photography in this book is um, second to none. There is no other blacksmithing book out there that does the same thing. Um, and you see that just throughout the book. Anywhere I flip open to it, it is going to uh, give you great information. This is also going to give you a lot of information that you need about creating the first set of tools that you have. The, the very first tongs, tongs that I made, the very first punches that I made, all of that stuff um, came from this book. A lot of my, uh, you know, what are the right ways to forge weld? What are these basic skills that you need as a blacksmith? Um, this is the book that I turned to when I was looking for those skills. So if you are a, a beginner blacksmith, this is five out of five. Um, you can't go wrong. If you're serious about blacksmithing, right? It is $60. So you know, you've got a bit of a monetary investment. If I have somebody who tells me, again, I'm interested in blacksmithing, I haven't bought anything, I haven't taken any classes, I just want to get kind of that, an idea of what it would take, I'm going to point them to something like Lorelei Sims Backyard Blacksmith. But if somebody's taken a few classes and they are interested and they really want to get into this, then I'm going to point them to um, this book and a couple others um, every time. So, beginner blacksmith, Five out of five stars. If you're an advanced blacksmith, I'll admit the first one in Mark's series, it's a great book, it covers the basics. If you know the basics, if you've um, done forge welding, if you know how to draw material out, if you know how to cut, if you know how to punch and drift and those skills, um, there's not a ton that you're gonna find in here that is um, new, right? This is a, a book that is for beginner blacksmiths so if you're an advanced blacksmith, I gave it two out of five stars, um, mostly because, it, I mean, it's a great book and it's one that should be in every blacksmith's library. As far as inspiration goes, uh, for me, this score is all about, um, when I look at this book, does it make me want to go out there and blacksmith? Does it give me a bunch of project ideas? And I've rated this one a little bit lower. It, it is kind of like a textbook. There's a wizard bottle opener in here that you make. There's some tools and stuff like that that are interesting, but I don't, read this uh, for inspiration. I read this for um, core skills. And then I'm also ranking all the books on historical um, interests or, you know, the history of blacksmithing. What are you picking up from that uh, aspect of it? Um, and it's just not an area that Mark covers in this book. Does not take anything away from it though. My overall ranking on this book is five out of five stars. If you'd like to see a detailed write-up and review I'll put a link to my book review website uh, down in the bottom. I will also put a link to where you can buy this book off Amazon. It is an affiliate link, so if you use that to buy it, it will help out the channel and keep me 
spending more money on books to, uh, to come out and review. So again, The Skills of a Blacksmith, Volume 1, Mastering the Fundamentals of Blacksmithing. If you are getting into blacksmithing, um, this should be one of your first purchases. It is going to give you the, the information, uh, honestly, that you won't get from YouTube channels, even mine, uh, or any of the other ones that are out there. The level of clarity that you get from this book is uh, just great. We will be, over the next couple of videos, taking a look at Mark's other two books, um, which also very high quality. So I look forward to seeing you in those book reviews. Have a great day and happy forging.